this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about what are the new features in Angular 14. So, to understand about Angular 14 features, let me quickly jump into the next slide. Here, these are the features which are in Angular 14. Let's understand what are the new features which are introduced in Angular 14. The first one is the Angular 14 and upcoming versions of Angular mainly focusing on micro front end architectural support. That includes a standalone components where we no need any module registration. For example, in our previous implementations or the previous versions of Angular, we have to register everything like directives, pipes, and uh, services, and also components in our module. Now, in this, no need to do that. We can make our components isolated and standalone. That means all the components, whatever the dependencies we have for that components, that will be defined in the component itself, not in the module. Why I said optional? Because Angular is still supporting the previous type of modular registration, but they gave a one more advantage to create a standalone components. And coming to autocomplete CLI, like in the previous version, we have used CLI ng generate components and we can generate services pipes and everything but you have to remember each and every word of it but in this case if you are not able to remember also no problem because autocomplete CLI is the new feature which was introduced in angular 14 where just type something like ng g and hit a tab you will be getting all the options for that particular word and also you you will not miss any capital case or smaller case it will be giving as usual so that no need to remember all the commands instead just we can use a name for that and we can see the options in our CLI and also they are introducing strictly typed reactive forms in the previous version there is no strictly typed reactive forms that means a particular form control can be a number and I can assign some value which is a string or a form control which is a string I can assign a number to it or a boolean to it so that is where there is no strictly typed reactive forms in our angular previous version but from angular 14 they are making a strictly typed reactive forms so that you can get the errors or any problems which we can identify at the time of compiler itself so these are the features of angular 14 let's understand about the standalone components autocomplete and strictly typed reactive forms a bit later with some examples but let's understand what is a micro frontend architecture so it is not only for angular the micro frontend architecture it's a type of microservices i hope everyone know about the microservices microservices are something where you will be writing all your services in different different tech stacks and you can use on one platform that means the DB will be common for that and the services whatever they are providing that will be individual. For example, one service like login service can be provided in Node.js and registration service can be provided in Java but they can be used on a single application. In the same way, coming to frontend, we came up with micro frontend architecture. That means few components you can develop in Angular, few components you can develop in React and few components you can develop in other frameworks or the libraries and they can be integrated with one application and you can make the micro frontend architecture and also one more advantage of my micro frontend architecture is you can develop different angular apps and you can combine together let me go into the architectural design so here for example i have a frontend app called as a and frontend app called as B front end app called as C and these all having their own build structure and the pipelines and then they will be moving to the production and once the production is moved they will be combined these three will be combined into one application and will be getting one single application the advantages of micro front end architecture is whenever you feel some bugs or when you face some issues for a particular app then no need to disturb any of the other features and there will be less regression problems because for example if I have all this in one application if I change something the testing and the efforts for this particular change will affect all your whole overall applications I'll give an example for example we have a geo my geo app where you are seeing home mobile fiber music UPA they have number of tabs but if you remember these all are individual apps for example, you have this application MyGeo. Instead of MyGeo, you can use FiberGeo. 
that is completely a different application which you can download from Play Store and music that is Geo Savan you can use it from a Play Store that means these all are individual applications which are used individually in Play Store app whereas he has combined all that individual apps into one major app that is single app and he gave us a feasibility to use all of this on a single application itself. That means they are working as an individual apps as well as they are working as the single app combined together. So this is a best example where I can see what how micro front-end architecture will help us. And also one more up the advantage is it is not mandatory to use the same technology for each and every app. Instead, the mobile app can be React the fiber app may be angular music may be ionic so you can develop in whatever the feasibilities we have we can develop in that particular languages as well as stacks and they can be combined onto a main framework so, so this may be something like a react and react is combined with all this angular application such type of implementations is called as micro front end architecture this increases the productivity this increases your application building time and also fixing some regressions we can avoid the regression for any of the application and also let me come into the organization level how it helps to an organization for example an organization got a new product which is like a very big product okay consider my geo is the one which we gave which we got as a product and we have to deliver it but as of now the proposal is i want the application to be on any stack I don't care about this stack I want these features now what I'll do is I'll take the help of micro front end architecture and I'll divide a teams for example a person who know angular that means a set of people I have 10 people who will be working on angular 10 people who is working on view and five people who is working on react now what I'll do I'll just divide these modules to each and every person like angular team view team and react team and they will be individually working on this and I'll maintain a bridge where you can share the data between these two and that bridge will help us to share the data between any of this that bridge will be your main application this main application will share all the login credentials to your fiber app music app UPI app in that way we, we can build the applications very fast and also I don't need to search for a angular guys outside and also we no need to search for the people for a particular stack instead get the people who know the better stack and implement that and combine it together so in that way also it will help us in organization level so hope micro front end architecture will be one of the evolution for our front end dev folks in the future upcoming years so try to understand how the micro front end architecture helps us in improving our architecture and the application development there is a one flaw or a drawback in micro front end architecture the drawback is you have to know when to use this micro front end architecture whenever you are using a small products or small applications if you are building then don't go with the micro front end architecture always prefer to go with the micro front end architecture whenever you have a very big application with several modules in my tutorials i'll provide you an example of micro front end architecture in the upcoming videos with angular and combined with react so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you